morning, it's Wednesday, walking over to the church so I can get a few things done and to join Rose over there, so I have arrived. Hey guys, so I know Manny started the vlog today. I haven't vlogged yet though. It is about 4.30. I'm heading over to the church, heading back over there. I just came home to get ready a little bit because today is first Wednesday. So we have our first Wednesday service, which means that we'll have a full worship team, which normally on Wednesdays we do groups, so we don't have a full team. Sometimes I'll do a couple of songs on my own, but we don't usually have a full team. So we're going to have one and then have a speaker. Um, I think my camera's crooked. That's better. Um... So anyways, we're going to just go over there and uh, get things ready for tonight. Um, I haven't really vlogged today. I've been taking care of a lot of things. It's been kind of an interesting day, kind of an annoying day. Um, I'm sure we all have those. <laughs> That's life. But, um, you know, we're going to we're going to get through it. And tonight's going to be going to be good. And just trying to get kind of focused now, because when you have annoying days like that, you have to kind of get your head in a good spot, you know, to be able to lead worship. Hello guys, I'm in my onesie right now that my mom got me for Christmas. <laughs> I love this thing. And I'm just doing the camera. Okay, so today, you guys, has been, I don't want to say horrible. I'm not going to say it's been horrible because every day has something good and then I'm not saying that sarcastically it may sound that way and it may even feel that way at this moment but I know that uh, every day has good parts so I'm just gonna believe that today you know today I got to lead worship which I'm passionate about so that is a good thing and uh I got to spend time with my husband and I love him and I got to see some of my favorite people you know along with my husband um and yeah, it's been, there's been good parts, but it's been a pretty interesting day. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like to be honest and let you guys know that if you had a bad day, it's all right because people do, <laughs> you know, and I, I talk about a lot of good things in my life. My bond is, my bond's having a bad day too, let me tell you. Like kind of wild now, it looked kind of cute earlier. Um, but anyway, it's. I think it's good to let people know that, you know, we're, everybody's real, you know, there's real things that happen to people. Um, just frustrating, you know what I mean? And, and uh, today was really hard. And so, um, you know, I'm just, I'm trusting God. And even in those moments where I, I mean, I'm a Christian and I love God and he has proven himself to me so many times that I know that he'll do it. You know, I know that he's, he's capable of so much, but even for Christians, okay, there are days, and I, I try to reiterate this to people because I think some people think, like, when you come to Christ, your life is just perfect, you know? And I, I don't like that sometimes Christians give off that impression because I feel like it's, it's a lie, you know? It's this fake idea of what life is going to be like when you accept Christ. And I, I truly think that that's why so many times people come to church and they get involved and they get, you know, a relationship with God. And then when their life is not really that good sometimes, and not that my life isn't good, I have a great life, but when, the, when things go wrong in their life, they're instantly like, well, I thought, I thought God was supposed to keep that from happening. I thought, you know, and they instantly do that. And it's still life, you know? Life is always going to be hard, you know? There's always going to be sin in the world, and people are going to be stupid sometimes. And, you know, God doesn't, you know, stop people from being stupid. And so there's still things that happen, sometimes within our control, sometimes completely out of our control, that are bad. And that's the reality of it. Now, a life with Christ makes it so much more bearable and it gives you hope and it gives you a reason and it sustains you. Life with him will sustain you and, and give you perseverance. It'll give you a whole new outlook and a whole new purpose. And it's, it's worth it. It is the most incredible thing you could ever do with your life. But it's not perfect. It's not. No life is perfect. And I think that Christians, so many times we want to play this like, you know, this church game. And 
we talk about this all the time in ministry and this is something that I try so hard not to do even on this channel in my day-to-day -day life and on this channel I try so hard not to be like oh my life's great I don't have any prayer requests because everything's perfect I have a great life I don't want to do that and there's nothing wrong with it. obviously you know you do have great seasons in your life there are seasons when I'm like honestly I think everything's great I don't I don't really know but I don't want to ever put off that impression like well I, I'm a Christian so my life's great you know, I never go through anything. I can't complain about anything. Nothing to complain about. I'm alive. You know, some Christians want to do that. They want to just be like, well, God gave me another day. So life's perfect. And, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, being positive. But I think there's a point when you can be a little fake. Um, but anyways, you know, no matter how your day was, I really think it's important at the end of the day to say, you know what? I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for, um, every opportunity that I have, I'm, I'm just thankful that God is working on my behalf and that he, he doesn't give up. Even though it might feel sometimes like, oh, where's he at? You know, what's he doing? He's always doing something. His timing is different and he knows better than we do. So we're impatient and if it was left up to us, we would destroy our lives because of that. But he knows what he's doing. So trust him. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Um, today is January, January. I was talking about February 8th which is my niece Janessa's sixth birthday and that's really exciting but of course for me it is really kind of sad because I can't be there with her today um and I I love getting to be with her you know birthday or not um she's one of my favorite people in this entire world so I would love to be there and celebrate with her I sent her a little gift um I ordered it from Amazon so it's coming to her house from Amazon I was gonna order it myself and then wrap it and whatever or even have Amazon do it but it's just coming straight she likes to get packages just as much so I figured that that would be fine like she likes to get things you know in the mail so I figured that she doesn't care she's just gonna be happy that she's getting a package and I wanted it to get to her quickly um but anyway, I'll tell you what it is. She got uh, two guinea pigs for her birthday. She got them a few days ago, though, because they were available at the, at the pet place and everything. So they didn't want them to be taken by the time of her birthday. So she got them a couple, you know, probably like maybe a week ago or a little bit less. Um, and she got one. And then I think technically like her little sister, Julia, got one. But because um, they, they ended up getting two of them. But it's really for Janessa's birthday. But anyway, um, so I got her earrings from Amazon. She got her ears pierced not long ago. And when I was at her house last time, she was showing me all of her earrings and her necklaces and, you know, all of her jewelry because she had it organized and, and everything. So she was really excited about it. So she, um, I got her earrings that are like circles and they have pictures of little guinea pigs on them, like a guinea pig on each one. And they're really cute, and I thought it would go kind of with the theme this year. Her theme for a party or anything is not guinea pigs, but it's kind of like the ongoing theme because she got guinea pigs, you know, and she's so excited about them, and she wanted to pet so badly. Um, and then I got her a necklace that is, um, it has a unicorn on it, which, you know, I think every little girl right now loves unicorns. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's like a huge thing. And uh, it has like a little piece beside it that um, you can have her name put on. So I, I had them put Janessa on it and I, I thought she would love that um, because she got a necklace a few weeks ago that had a six on it since she was turning six and she was so excited. Um, so I thought the one with her name and a little unicorn would be really cute. So that's what I'm sending her for her birthday. Um, I really wanted to stick with the jewelry thing because she seemed to be really liking the jewelry. One year I sent her makeup because she loves makeup um and that kind of stuff and that was last year so so i uh, yeah i'm excited for her to get out of school so that i can call her and tell her happy birthday and i hope she gets that gift today it's supposed to be there today i was excited because it said february 8th if it doesn't come today it probably will tomorrow and her party is saturday so not a huge deal if she doesn't get it today because she's gonna have to get a lot of gifts later um you know from the party and everything but i just kind of want her to get it a little surprise on her birthday which i think she knows i'm sending something but you know Still a fun, fun surprise to get, so. Okay, so I'm home for lunch. It's 2.40 right now. I came home a little later today than I usually do for lunch. Um, but anyways, I'm here right now, and I have to go back to open up the gym. Um, because, you know, we, we run out our gym, the church. And, um, so I had to open it for the team that's going to be using it. Um, because we had, like, a really big gym like you know that can be used for basketball and volleyball and all that kind of stuff 
All right, guys, so we're back at the church right now, uh, getting ready for practice. I got my my water um, here, and I love this little water bottle that I got for Christmas. Um, but anyway, we're here, and we're going to um, just kind of get ready for practice tonight. So it um, starts in about 35 minutes. Um, I really need to do my hair because my roots are bad, but we'll see hopefully soon. I'll definitely get it cut soon because I want it kind of shaped up a little bit. So anyway, we're just getting ready. There's Manny. Manny, you want to say hi? Hi. Oh. Say hi. Look, it's on you. There's a light coming out of your head. Hi. hi. <laughs> Manny's getting my stuff set up. He's kind of like, you know, my assistant and oh, buddy. Like <laughs> I'm just kind of standing around until it's practice time, and then I set my stuff up, but Manny is like, you have to do it immediately. As soon as you walk in the door, everything has to be done immediately. But he's really sweet, because look You're at him. Annoying. He's taking care of my stuff. Okay, let's get some stuff done. I'm on the computer right now. I'm gonna get stuff printed out that we need. If the computer ever wants to come on. And tomorrow we have a Valentine's party to go to here. Oh, my phone's ringing, or ringing, vibrating. Um, <laughs> look at this picture of my niece. Now I'm sexy again. She's eating chips at the birthday dinner for my other niece, Janessa, her sister. Janessa got her um, her present today from me, one of them, her guinea pig earrings. Um, and they are so cute. I love them. She loved them, her little face. She was so excited. She put them in right away while I was on FaceTime. And I think her dad liked them just as much. Her dad is my brother. And he was like, aww. He's <laughs> like, I didn't know they made those. I was like, yeah. I actually, I didn't even just come across them. I actually, like, looked it up. Like, um, I can't talk and do anything, I'm telling you. But I actually, like, looked it up, like, getting big earrings. Because I know she loves earrings. So she got her ear spears not long ago. And you know how exciting that is. Um, that's the picture of Janessa. It's one of my favorite restaurants. I miss that restaurant, actually. Like, we live in a place with all kinds of Mexican food, like, obviously New Mexico. But there's this one Mexican restaurant in Indiana that I love. It is so good. They're, they're at it right now. I used to go there all the time. They have the best Mexican food ever. I love it. And it's, like, authentic Mexican food. There's Manny. I'm vlogging. Hey, we're home and we are warming up our food. Um, our meal prepped food. It is just got home to walk the door. It's 10 30 p.m. So um haven't eaten dinner. Pretty hungry. Um been a long couple of days. Um a lot of a lot of late nights, but we are going to uh eat this dinner. I don't know what it's gonna be tonight. Hopefully it's the ribs. Those are really good. I'm not even a big meat eater, but they were good and then there's sweet potatoes in there that I, I love sweet potatoes so i'm really so it is um what is today <laughs> friday and we missed a package delivery yesterday but we hadn't ordered anything that would have been coming yesterday so today it came and they actually left it while i was at the office because we left the note saying that they could and it was actually a gift from limelight which is the makeup and skincare company that i um I am mean, like a distributor for. Um, so anyways, it's happy limelight anniversary. That's what it's for because I've almost been doing limelight for a year, I think in March. Um, and it is Cheryl's, I think that's how you would say it, Cheryl's Cookies. Um, this is a 20% off thing with it and they also sent me cookies. I'm excited. That's really sweet. That was, it's been kind of a rough couple days, so that's kind of a nice little surprise. Um, they're individually packaged, so. This is buttercream frosted cutout cookie. This is the first one. Oatmeal raisin. Chocolate, uh, chocolate, chocolate chips. So like the chocolate cookie with chocolate chips. Um, snickerdoodle, sugar cookie, and chocolate chip cookie. So that is really sweet. That was such a nice, yeah, it comes in this nice box. Limelight has a really cute logo and <laughs> Manny's showing his hand looks so big. Um, it has a really cute logo and that's just really, really sweet. So I'm going to take a picture for Instagram and uh, that really made these last couple days kind of better. These little cookies. So that was really sweet. I never get just random packages 
like that. So, ignore the TV, it's loud. Manny's watching soccer, but I got him this for like Valentine's Day, just like for a little candy to give him a Valentine's Day, but it came the other day and I gave it to him. So, <laughs> even though it's not Valentine's Day. They're McVitie's Gold Bars, so crunchy biscuit bar with a unique gold coating. Um, they're from England, they came from England, um, so it's a little bit more expensive to get like candy from England. Um, obviously because you have to get, you have to pay shipping. It wasn't too bad, but obviously more than what probably the average person would pay. They gave like these two extra ones. Um, okay. These two extra ones. I don't know why. Uh, Manny said I could have those, but I told him that he could. Um, and then it's like a seven pack like this. So for the little amount, it was pretty expensive to get, but um, I figured this will kind of suppress his cravings for these because he always he always wants these yeah, so anyway i'm making him some cappuccino right now we bought these cappuccino pods and uh they're really good from the keurig i'm just having regular coffee but he's having cappuccino i'll show you his cute little cup this is the cup that uh, i'm giving him his cappuccino and i got it for him last year i think it's so cute <laughs> thank you thank you so much you're, you're really excited about it? Look, take a drink. Taste test. Taste test. See if it's good enough. Take a drink. <laughs> I zoomed in. <laughs> it's fogging up your glasses. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, so I don't... Manny, I'm vlogging. Be quiet. I don't know how. I don't know how um, this vlog's gonna be edited or anything because I actually ended it last night. But I um, got that package today, and I wanted to show you guys. And I thought, well, I guess I could just start a new vlog. Um, but I didn't want to start a new vlog on the same card because then it just messes with my um, like the order of everything. It just kind of makes it harder to edit so I, I don't like to do that I like to just finish a vlog edit that you know format the card and then start over again so I'm gonna try to edit out the part where I ended it but hopefully it's not like hard to you know like an abrupt ending all of a sudden of the day um so I didn't take a night or anything I just ended it but what you're eating your gold bar you shouldn't have done what why Okay, do you understand what vlogging is? <laughs> I'm, I'm recording myself right now and you're interrupting me every second. Yeah. Anyways, we um, have Valentine's Day party to go to tonight, so I'm going to try to film myself getting ready for that. Have Manny help me. Manny, you want to help me film myself later? Not really, no. You would love it. You love doing that. Actually... Okay, well, I'm going to go clean. I'm going to end the vlog. I'm going to go ahead and just end it and film myself later getting ready because i don't want this to be too too long i have several days and i was planning on just editing it today from all the past couple days but hopefully i'll still be able to tonight maybe after i get back if not before i go so anyways i just wanted to say i hope you guys have a good day um today's been a better day for me um which is good so I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you so much. We love you so much. Thank you for watching and hanging out with us. And we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow.